Hey you guys, it's Liesl Jane. Today I'm gonna show you how to quit sugar in five days or how to remove refined sugar from your diet over five days. When I decided to give up processed sugar for good a couple of years ago, I didn't really know where to begin or how to actually do it. And soon I kind of realized that refined processed sugar was in almost everything. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can practically start to give up refined sugar in five days. I found that if you're used to eating sugar all the time and then try to give up everything that could possibly contain sugar in just one day, it can feel like torture and it's usually not very sustainable. So I thought I'd show you how you can take just five days to start to change your diet and remove refined sugar from your diet using five simple steps. And when you make an effort to eat less processed sugar, you may start to notice that you have better sustained energy, more energy, less sugar crashes, and just feel better overall, you know? So each day out of the five days, we're gonna focus on a specific meal or eating time. And I'm gonna show you how to make healthier food choices that contain less or no processed sugar at all. But don't worry, just because it's refined sugar free doesn't mean that it needs to taste like cardboard. I have got you covered with some yummy recipes and ideas that are healthier. So let's get started with day one. For day one, we're gonna start small. We're gonna start with something simple that everyone can easily do. We're gonna start with breakfast because breakfast really sets the tone for your entire day of eating. So breakfast cereals and pre-packaged breakfast foods usually contain a huge amount of processed sugar and they're really not that healthy despite what those clever marketing campaigns tell us. They're really not that healthy. So if you are gonna grab a bowl of cereal, try to rather grab a bowl of cereal granola that's totally refined sugar free and that's made from whole grains like like a whole grain granola or something like that from a good reputable health food brand and you know I'm not talking about those kind of typical ones that you see in the supermarket you you know you guys get it or make some oatmeal or overnight oats with whole rolled oats it's a great option you guys know that I love having this this is a great alternative to cereal try to stay away from the instant or the quick cooking oats though as these options they're often highly processed as well and contain add added sugars that you know we don't need so what you can do to sweeten your breakfast naturally is to use fresh fruit you can use any fruit that you like what i often do is have oatmeal or overnight oats without any added sugar in that and then i'll top that with some fresh fruit and then i don't even feel like i need that extra sugar because it's sweet enough with all the fruit on top of course if you're still getting used to going sugar free then you can try adding a teaspoon of 100% pure maple syrup, raw honey, xylitol, erythritol, or even stevia. The truth is that all sugars, even unrefined sugars, are broken down by the body in the same way, but sugars from whole carbs, like whole grains and fruits, also contain tons of fiber and nutrients that the body needs. So, you know, having healthy fiber, healthy fats, and protein with your carbs really helps the body to process the sugar better and helps to, you know, reduce crazy sugar highs that you might get from eating something like candy which is basically just pure refined sugar. But sweeteners like xylitol, erythritol, and stevia have less impact on the blood sugar levels in the body. So these are great choices if you are trying to go, you know, sugar-free. Making a smoothie is obviously another great option for breakfast and you can use fruit to sweeten it too. So you don't need to add any other kinds of sweeteners. I've already shown you guys a whole lot of healthy breakfast ideas and recipes over on this channel. So I will link a a bunch of different videos in the description box for you um, if you're looking for some healthy breakfast inspiration and ideas. For day two of this five day no sugar challenge, let's tackle something that's obviously loaded with processed sugar, desserts and treats. So it's kind of an obvious one. So you already know that things like cakes, sweets, candy, store-bought chocolate, pastries, cookies, you know, all those kind of things, they're made from processed ingredients that are full of processed sugars. And we already know that they're not very good for us, so I don't even need to tell you that. So right now I'm gonna show you a really easy healthy treat recipe that you can have instead of any other dessert that you're used to having, you know, maybe after dinner, you're used to having something sweet. Um, so this is a great alternative. These are my healthy brownie bites and I'm so excited to share them with you. They're completely refined sugar free and are full of fiber, whole carbs, good protein and healthy fats. First what you'll need is 20 fresh medjool dates. That's about 270 grams. I'm just slicing them in half to remove the pits and also to remove the little hard thing on the end on the top of, I don't know what you call it. Then once I've pitted all of them, I'm soaking them in a bowl of warm water for about 15 to 20 minutes. The longer you soak them, the softer they'll be. So while the medjool dates are soaking, I'm adding the rest of the ingredients to a bowl. One cup of roughly chopped walnuts, 
one cup of roughly chopped pica nuts. And you can use either one cup of each of those or just two cups of the same kind of nut, either walnut or pecan. Half a cup of unsweetened desiccated coconut. Half a cup of unsweetened cacao powder. Four tablespoons of unsweetened nut butter, which is a quarter cup. I recommend using almond macadamia or hazelnut butter because peanut butter has um, a stronger taste. Two teaspoons of cinnamon. Two to three teaspoons of unsweetened vanilla extract and also a pinch of sea salt and just mix that together a bit. So now after the dates have soaked for about 20 minutes, I've drained the water and I'm just adding them to a plate. If you've got a food processor, you can just blitz all of the ingredients together in there really easily. But I know not everybody has a food processor, so I want to show you how you can make these if you don't have a food processor. I'm just roughly chopping the soaked dates with a knife and then just smashing them up with a fork to make kind of like a date paste. It doesn't have to be perfectly smooth or anything, just, just roughly. Now I'm adding the date paste to a bowl with the rest of the ingredients and I'm just gonna mix that together. And I find it easier to use my hands to get the batter really well mixed. Just make sure that you've washed your hands properly first. And then once the batter is all blended together, I'm taking about a tablespoon amount at a time and I'm rolling it and pressing the batter between my hands to make a like a ball shape and it's just really rough. And I've got about a quarter cup of extra desiccated coconut in a little bowl, which I'm rolling the brownie bites into to coat them with a little bit of extra coconut so they're not sticky on the outside as well. And I'll just keep doing that until I've used up all of the batter. And you can serve them straight away. They're ready. They don't need to be kept in the fridge or anything, but they are actually quite nice when they're chilled. Just store them in an airtight container to keep them fresh. And you can store them in the fridge to make them last even longer. These are great for a cheeky little snack or a healthy treat or an alternative to a store-bought dessert that is, you know, loaded with refined sugar. These brownie bites are full of nutrients and goodness and they're so delicious. The perfect healthy chocolate treat. I'm also going to put this recipe over on my blog for you. So I'll put a link to that below this video for you with a little bit of a calorie breakdown too. And obviously, I mean, fruit makes a great healthy treat or dessert too there are so many delicious fruits and they're amazing for satisfying a sweet tooth in a healthier way and they're also really really good for us obviously and yes it's true all carbs even fruit contain natural sugars but the difference is that whole carbs that are not processed like whole grains potatoes fruits vegetables are all full of nutrients vitamins minerals and fiber which are so good for us and they give us energy you know good energy all we need to get into the habit of doing is switching up processed sugars for healthier whole carbs and fruits, you know. So for day three of this five day no sugar challenge, we're going to focus on lunch and dinner. A lot of people that are trying to be healthier choose to eat salads for either their lunch or their dinner or for both of these meals, which is great. And salads can be really healthy. But what often happens is that while the salad itself is healthy, the salad dressings are often loaded with processed ingredients and refined sugars, often lots of calories too. So I'm gonna show you two quick and easy salad dressing recipes that you can make yourself. And then after that, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite healthy pasta sauce recipes. Okay, so the, the first salad dressing is like super basic. In a bowl, mix one teaspoon of olive oil with a squeeze of fresh lemon juice, black pepper, and sea salt and that's it you can just drizzle that over your salad or you can just skip the whole process of you know mixing it in a bowl and just add it straight to your salad it's that simple and it's super healthy and the olive oil and the fresh lemon juice they really enhance the flavors of the salad this is definitely my go-to salad dressing recipe i use it all the time almost every single day and then the second salad dressing recipe is still simple but it's a little bit more flavorful if that's what you like so to start, you can add one teaspoon of olive oil to a bowl with one teaspoon of unsweetened balsamic vinegar, a little squeeze of fresh lemon juice, some Italian herb mix, probably like half a teaspoon, black pepper and some sea salt and just mix that together and then you can drizzle that over your salad. So those are both really simple but healthy salad dressing recipes that you can make at home. Now I'm going to show you one of my favorite pasta sauce recipes because the truth is that just like salad dressing, sauces are often loaded with refined sugars too, and other unnecessary ingredients. To a pot, I'm adding one teaspoon of cooking oil. I've used macadamia nut oil with two cups of mushroom slices, one cup of chopped bell pepper. I've used red bell pepper, one cup of chopped cherry tomatoes, one or two teaspoons of Italian herb mix, a teaspoon of onion powder, 
black pepper, sea salt, a squeeze of fresh lemon juice, two tablespoons of unsweetened almond butter. This is gonna make the sauce really creamy, it's so good. Um, and also add a little bit of protein. And then this is optional, but I'm adding a little handful of fresh cilantro as well, which I've chopped up. And then one cup of water. So you can cook that over a medium heat for about 10 minutes until it becomes a sauce and just keep stirring it. And then these are some extra ingredients that I like to add. Two tablespoons of unsweetened tomato paste and then one or two teaspoons of arrowroot powder. This, um, this is just for if you wanna make the sauce a little bit thicker. So you can just stir those in and then you can serve the sauce with some whole grain or gluten-free pasta. I've been loving this for an easy dinner. And that's a delicious healthy sauce recipe that you can have with pasta, um, brown rice or even quinoa. Now, you know, since we're trying to cut out refined sugars here, did you know that eating refined flours is kind of like basically the same as eating refined sugar? Processed white flours also lack fiber, nutrients, and you know, at the end of the day, they're basically just refined sugar too, because they really processed carbs. So what I like to do is switch up processed grains for whole grain products. I like to use brown rice pasta instead of white pastas. That's probably my favorite thing to use is brown rice spaghetti. And you can also use other whole grain pastas, like any other kind of grain that you prefer. And then obviously plain brown rice and wild rice and quinoa that have been left in their whole forms. These are also great whole grain options. So day four of this no sugar challenge, we're focusing on drinks. So I feel like coffee and tea and even fruit juices and sodas, they catch a lot of people out. You can be making an effort to eat really healthy food, cutting down on refined sugars and making good food choices. And then you can completely forget about what you're drinking and sugars from drinks can easily start to add up. And just think if you're having a few cups of tea or coffee each day and with a few spoons of sugar each time at the end of the day, you've had quite a lot of sugar. And of course, more obvious drinks like sodas. I mean, just cutting down on sugary drinks like sodas and cutting down on the amount of sugar that you add to teas and coffees can make a huge difference. So why not just try having your coffee or tea without sugar? Just give it a try. It's commonly known that it takes about 11 times to try something new before you like it. Try it a few times, see how it goes. And also, if you're, if you're having milk in your hot beverage, make sure it's unsweetened. A lot of milks and milk alternatives like almond or coconut milk are actually sweetened. So try to find an unsweetened brand. Okay, so for the last day of our five day no sugar challenge, I wanna focus on something that might be the sneakiest way that refined sugar can creep into our diets. A little snack here, a little snack there. And before you know, you've eaten way more refined sugar than you ever thought you would have or could have just from snacks. So on the fifth day of this no sugar challenge, why not try to pay more attention to what you're snacking on? Even something that seems so innocent like a snack bar can contain a lot of refined sugar. And most people don't even think to second guess the ingredients in them because they think snack bars are all healthy and that is not true. Make sure that you read the nutrition label on your favorite snack bar just to see what it's made from. I really like Lara bars and Naked bars because they really do contain a minimal amount of ingredients. The basic ingredients are dates, nuts and fruit. They're unprocessed and they don't contain any extra refined sugar. Fruit and nuts are obviously a good choice for snacking too. You know, you can grab a piece of fruit and a handful of raw nuts and you're good to go. You're going to get good sustained energy, fiber, minerals, vitamins, protein, whole carbs and healthy fats. I often grab an apple and a few raw almonds and put them in a little Ziploc bag when I'm on my way out and I'll just keep that in my handbag for an easy healthy snack. I've already shown you a bunch of different healthy snack ideas on this channel so I'll link some videos below in the description box where I've shown you some different healthy snack ideas. So on this five day no sugar challenge, we've learned how to avoid refined sugar in desserts and we got some healthier options that are super delicious. We learned how to avoid excess sugar at breakfast, lunch and dinner and how to watch out for that super sneaky sugar that can creep into our favorite snacks, teas, coffees and other drinks. So let's try to keep up what we've learned on a day to day basis and then, you know, take it a step beyond that. Try to become aware of what you're putting into your body before you take a bite of something. Check the nutrition labels and read the ingredients. Even health foods like almond butter and almond milk can contain excess sugar that we don't need. So. Try to get into the habit of reading the nutrition labels before you buy something, before you eat something. And this doesn't mean that you can't ever have something sweet that you love as a treat, but 
you know, if you learn to watch out for excess sugars in foods that you eat every day, all the time, then you'll probably notice that you start to feel so much better. You, you'll you have better sustained energy. You'll have more energy. You won't have as many sugar crashes. Just eat whole and processed foods as much as you can. This is really the easiest way to cut down on refined sugars. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I really hope that you found it helpful in some way or picked up a few tips or ideas that you can use let me know if you decide to try this five day no sugar challenge and also let me know if you have any other tips for reducing sugar intake you can let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel for more videos and i will see you again soon